Hello. Ame. Hello. Ame. Okay, good morning again. Okay, marching. <laughs> All right. Okay. So um, today we doing kind of a, an adventure thing, and so I'm, I'm, I'm believing that everybody on the bus is game, is ready for the adventure today. Let's <laughs> go. All right. So we we actually going to the Kakum National Park. And uh, the first thing you would have to know is that the Kakum National Park was uh, established by the initiative um, of the people around 1937. Um, in that, um, they, the people around the park, the villages, came together to preserve and conserve the park before the state came in later on to enhance it and then also turn into a national park. The name of the park is actually named after a river that flows through the park. And the name of the river is called Kakumdo. 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 Yes, that's the name of the river. And that's why you get the name Kakum. Yes. And uh, the park is about um, 350 Square miles. It's a big park and it's one of the most visited park, visited park in Ghana. In that, um, the construction of the canopy walkway at the time was the first in Africa, which was finished um, in 1992. And at that time, it was built by the support of two Canadians and then four Ghanaians. And at the time it was, it, it has been built. It has been very, very useful to um, the tourism business in Ghana and the country at large. The sad thing about the park is because of the frequent number of visitors the park gets almost every day and annually, there are animals in the park, but you don't get to see them. Okay. Animals like the monkeys, the forest elephants, some wild tigers and um, wild cats, huh? and then some other animals, you don't get to see them. There's no fall. Because they're all nocturnal animals and they only come out at night. You said wild tigers pretty fast. <laughs> 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 is it a small, is it a wild tiger in Africa? Is it a small tiger? So, yes. <laughs> and also there's a lot of species of birds um, because uh, it's one of the homes for uh, people first, especially those who want to do bird watching they come there a lot to do bird watching and mostly if you want to do bird watching you actually have to do it in the morning early morning that's where you actually get to see the birds and um, very very close and a lot of species, over 200 plus species of butterflies. Yay! Yes, and um, the the bridge is constructed in which we are going to experience. The canopy bridge is constructed in a very unique way because it is constructed on the canopy layer of the forest, on the top of the forest, where you can see from a bird's eye view the whole park. Yeah, in that is, the bridge is connected with seven trees and it has seven platforms. In that it is built with a material of a, it has a wire mesh, it has rope or nets for the sides and then ropes and then wooden planks. The whole experience is to give you the experience. So when you step on, it would sway left and right a bit. But I can tell you and I can guarantee you the weight that the canopy can contain is about two to four tons. Oh. And none of us weigh a ton. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And so at the time it was built in 1992, there has been no casualties. It is very, very safe. What about me? 
<laughs> and and the thing is, every morning before the park opens, the engineers inspect the park every morning before they allow anybody to go on it. And if there's anything, they would have to hold on um, and fix it before they allow anybody to go on it. So the bridge is very, very safe. But then, for those who are scared of heights, because it is about 30 meters from the forest floor, which is almost about, uh, now, um, about 120 feet high. And so if, if you're scared of height and you can't do all seven bridges, the bridge is built in a loop form. You start from one end, but you exit on a different side. Um, and then, so those who are scared of height, um, there is a shortcut um, where you would just do three of the bridges and you're out. So if you do the first one and you feel you're not comfortable with it, just take your left hand side, there's a bridge, there's a shortcut, and then you just two do, you do two more and then you're out. But if you're adventurous and you want to see the whole and ex experience the whole bridge, you take right and then you do all seven and then we would meet those who couldn't do all seven at the exit point. And so that is about brief about the canopy bridge or canopy walkway. The park is actually divided into two sections and in that we have what is called the primary forest and we have what is called the secondary forest. The primary forest is actually the virgin forest which has never been farmed or used um, for timber or farming activities before. The secondary forest is actually where the reception area is. And so that side of the park has been used and farmed before. But when we enter into um, the park proper and we hike a bit, going up to where the bridge is, that is a whole virgin forest. We say the forest is a semi-deciduous forest. Semi-deciduous forest means that all year round, um, there is the leaves of the trees are always green whether during the rainy season or during the dry season they are always green um, it's a rainforest as well because they ex a lot of times you have rain that fall even during the, when even the sun is up it can still rain and uh, when it's dry season the leaves fall on the ground. The leaves on the ground are brown, but the leaves on top are always green. So that is what a semi-deciduous forest means. And um, it is uh, one of the, again, I said you have forest elephants. The difference between a forest elephant and a savanna elephant is that the forest elephants tend to be smaller. Because of the trees, they can't move, so they grow small. But a savanna elephant, the land is vast and they don't have a lot of trees, so they grow very huge. So that's one of the difference. And here in Ghana, we have forest elephants and we have savanna elephants. If you go up north, um, one of our biggest national park called the Mole National Park, we have savanna elephants over there. Yes. No, no uh, chimpanzees, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> but in certain parts, in certain parts of Ghana, we have baboons. Yes, but we have monkeys there. Yes, but then you don't get to see them. They mostly move very early in the morning. So if you are there very early, early morning, around seven, six thirty-seven, when the park opens, you might see them moving. Yes, but by this time we don't see them. If we are lucky, when we get to the bridge, if we are lucky, we might see them some. A few, oh yes, a few of them swing and pass, but um, I can guarantee that. Yeah. So that is a brief about the the park. Any question? <laughs>